Good morning, everybody. Uh, latest blog updates, half past nine. Uh, I have been in the yard now for two hours, 40 minutes. Uh, they told me that I, as soon as I got there at seven, I'd have a bay to load and uh, that I would be gone straight away. Uh, I didn't get in the yard until to load. I've got so much stuff that another driver has to take it and that driver can't get it all in his van. So I've got so much stuff I can't get it all in my van. So the stuff that I've given, taken off, can't be fit in another van. So I've got two and a half vans worth of stuff to do in one day. Um, average of 10 an hour, they've given me 160 deliveries. That's, well, that's 16 hours work. That's not one day, is it? So, um, you know, but my sister's coming to help me, uh, or my sister's doing my spill off. So it's me and Kelly in Gosport, and between the two of us, we'll get it done. So, no, that's the plan anyway. Fingers crossed. No. I hope you're all having a lovely morning. I'm going to try and do a proper blog today because obviously I, um, I am going to try and get a proper blog in and uh, talk about some different things, talk about some news and all sorts of different stuff. Everybody, uh, it's not going too badly today. Uh, I'm just in the high street, as you can probably see. Um, you know, but things haven't gone wrong so far, so I'm okay. Um, I hope everybody's having a good day. Uh, I would like to make a mention of my friend Ryan and Ross's blog. Um, I believe it's called R and R. Uh, it'll be on Facebook. I'll put up a, a thing on here for the website. Uh, it should come up on your screen now. And um, yeah, go and have a look, and they're going to be randomly talking about, well, the same kind of things I do, really. Random things. And then um, I might pop in and say hello every now and then. Um, unfortunately, I'm a little bit of a busy fella, so uh, which is why I get to do this while I'm working. But I'll see if I can get down there a couple of times a week, and uh, we'll have a a random uh, random chat about random things so uh, yeah I hope you guys have a good day and I shall catch you real soon bye bye so I've just seen my friend uh, Max's brother Alex um, you know said hello as you do and a quick chat and I just realized that in all these blogs that I've done so far I haven't mentioned Max and uh, and this is a travesty so, I'm going to now. My friend Max, uh, a few of you will know him. Um, uh, Ryan, Sarah, Ross, all of you will know him. Um, I used to work with him at Burger King. Um, you know, sort of kept touch over the years and then um, kind of uh, spent a lot of time together, went on holiday together, me, him, and uh, Anna and Dan and a load of other people. And. Um, you know, really nice time out there. There's pictures on Facebook of us looking <laughs> ridiculous. Um, um, but um, he's getting married, which is uh, a wonderful, wonderful thing. And uh, he has very nicely asked me to be his best man, which is fantastic. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't been in a lot of contact with him, mainly because we're now both working like dogs and uh, that makes it a little bit difficult. But he lives in Cyprus, so 
when he gets married, I get to uh, fly out to Cyprus and uh, spend the time there. I'm still trying to convince him that he should get um, married in shorts and t-shirt because it is July that he's decided to get married um, and in Cyprus it's about 40 degrees in the shade and I don't know whether any of you know me but I don't do heat particularly well um, I will melt um, but you know I will I will struggle on I will soldier on and spend uh, 10 days in Cyprus just for Max because you know I wouldn't do it otherwise obviously so um, I will see you guys uh, later have a good day And just while we're here, this uh, little red car car down here is um, Charlotte's from Jag. Uh, if you need a mobile phone or anything to do with mobile phones, go and see Lottie, and she will look you look after you and make sure you get what you need. But she's not at work today. This is her car, so I'm going to go and mess with it. Back in a second. So there we go, that was fun. So having uh, spoken to a few people, uh, it seems to me what they'd like me to do is to talk about uh, musicals. Which I'm more than happy to do, because I actually really like musicals. Now, I don't, um, I was listening to it this morning, right? I'm blaring out a bit of the old Miss Saigon. Um, uh, blaring out of my, uh, van as I pulled up this morning and uh, you know I had a few jokes and remarks made about the fact that I was listening to musicals and I don't see what the problem is you know because I'm a I'm a manly man ish give or take you know I spit I burp I fart I uh, you know sleep with lots of women I uh, I do all the things that men are supposed to do the only thing I don't do is talk about football because it's shit and um, and I like to listen to musicals now I don't see what the problem is. It's, I like music, I like lyrics, I like good music and I like good lyrics. Musicals have both. My personal favourite, and I know it's Sarah's favourite as well, is Miss Saigon. Whereas Tasha's favourite is Les Miserables. Now I don't mind Les Miserables. Um, you know, it's got some lovely music in it. I don't really know a lot about it. I know the plot, um, but it's not one that I've spent a lot of time with. Um, my mum is a huge fan of Les Miserables, um, but I much prefer Miss Saigon. So I listen to it quite a lot, and I listen to it when I'm cleaning house because you know I don't have to think about the cleaning, so I just sing along, and I get many a funny look from belting out Boudoy or the Last Night of the World. You know, people think I'm crazy. Well, you know, surely everybody, every man, has a little thing that they they listen to or do that's a guilty pleasure. You know, like my friend uh, Kev, who, by the way, doesn't listen to my blog. My flatmate, my best friend, can't be bothered to listen to my vlog. I'm just saying. So, he, he likes to knit. Because he's not going to hear this, so I can make it up. He likes to knit... Right, jumpers. Uh, he's made me some smashing jumpers, and um, and also he likes to have manicures and pedicures, um, which actually does make him a little bit gay. Kev, you're a gay. Um, but yeah, I'm going to talk about Miss Saigon a little bit later. I'm going to do some plot lines and some of my favourite songs and all that kind of stuff. But I'll talk to you soon. Bye. So. Um, in answer to your questions, no, I will not talk about the weather, um, due to the fact that the weather depresses me and I'm trying to stay positive. Um, all I will say about the weather is it makes me need a wee. And then uh, I won't talk about Black Ops, because um, that was one of the requests not to talk about Black Ops, despite the fact that it's amazingly good and really good fun and we love it all. <laughs> and then, um, where the hell am I going? Oh, here we go, senior rates. 
and um, and also badges. Now, badges are a serious note, so I'm going to talk about badges in a minute, um, and we're going to discuss, you know, why badges are our friends. See you soon. So, the plight of the badger. I've always felt quite sorry for the badger. In the, I always think of them as the old man of the uh, of the town beasts, if you will. Um, you know, and a fox with his uh, incredibly British accent and uh, and uh, slyness about him. Um, whereas the badger, I think of slightly northern for some reason. Um, got a bit of a northern accent, and uh, is always just a shuffling, doddering old man with his little wiggly bum. Um, now I'm not sure 100% on the figures, um, but I think it's something in the region of 3 million a week are killed on the roads by users, road users who just don't care about the badger. Well, I'm making a public service announcement. Please, please, help the badgers. Look after the badgers. Badgers deserve your love. If you want to send any money to help the badgers, the address will be coming up on the bottom of the screen now. Um, it's a worthwhile cause. If you want a phone to pledge, phone 100 100 badge. It would be badger, but I can't fit it on the numbers. So uh, please, please help the badgers. Goodbye. Yeah, that's right, bitches. I'm done by half past five. All right. I am, um, however, I'm not done because my sister kindly took a load off me and now um, is struggling with what she's got. So I'm, of course, going to go and help her because that's what brothers do. And, uh, and I am a good brother and a good person and just generally an all-round awesome kind of guy. So, um, yep, I'll uh, message you in a bit when I'm on my way back. Bye-bye. Well, hello, everybody. Uh, eventful day today. Um, everything done. Uh, been a busy, busy, busy bumblebee. Uh, but managed to get everything done, and I'm on my way home now. Uh, I'm going to upload yesterday's blog and today's blog. Uh, I hope everybody's still enjoying them. Um, I know sometimes I go off on a bit of a rant and a bit of a tangent. I try not to. Um, but please feel free to continue um, offering me uh, suggestions on what to talk about. Um, I will find some way of making them entertaining um, or possibly quite geeky because I can't help that. So, yeah, just let me know. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful evening. Um, and I will see you same bat time, sat channel, tomorrow. I'll see you later, guys. Bye.